Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. In today's lesson, I'll show you how to order food on the phone. Sometimes we learn how to do all kinds of other sophisticated things in a new language, but we still feel nervous when we need to do simple things. So this is one of those things. And hopefully after this lesson, you won't be nervous or shy to order food on the phone. All right, let's see how a typical dialogue might proceed, okay? So let's say you call, you know what you want, all right? And you say, I'd like to order, please. So the person asks you, pick up or delivery? That means, do you want the food delivered to your home? Or are you going to go there and pick up the food from the restaurant? Okay, so I'd like to order, please. Pick up or delivery? Let's say you want it delivered, so you say delivery. So if you want it to be delivered, the person is going to ask you some more questions. For example, what's your address? So you say 66 Fleet Street, apartment 4. What's your phone number? You give your phone number 647-2164. What's your buzzer code? Okay, now what's a buzzer code? Uh, in many North American buildings, as part of the security system, you can't get into the building just by walking in. There's usually a security door, which can only be unlocked by the residents from upstairs, all right? And the buzzer code does not, is a separate number from the apartment number. This is an added layer of security so that nobody can know exactly how to get inside and so on. But, and they won't know which apartment you live in. So a buzzer code is a number that is given to you so that you answer it in your apartment and you can let somebody inside to, into the building when they either press the button or they punch in the number. So this is like a code. So this is the buzzer code. What's your buzzer code? Uh, let's say 612, okay? Then, what would you like to order? Now you give them your order one pad thai and three veggie spring rolls. Okay, let's say you call the Thai restaurant. All right, so veggie, you know, it's used, it's like short for vegetarian, right? Next, so the person says, anything else? Could you please send some chili sauce? Okay, anything extra that you want or any special instructions you have about how the food should be cooked, that's the time to say it, all right? Next uh, will come the question of money. So how are you paying? So you could just say cash or MasterCard, Visa, debit, all right? You see that a lot of this conversation is very short to the point, okay? It's not long sentences because nobody has time. Also, they're usually very busy at these places. So they just ask you basic questions. You give basic answers. You don't always need to use a full sentence. Um, okay, then maybe you want to ask them uh, how much will, some other questions, like how much will that be or how much is it? Let's say the person says 1847. How long will it take? About 45 minutes. Okay, thanks. Thanks, bye. Okay, so you see that the conversation goes pretty fast. But at the same time, if you know what to expect, it will be a lot easier for you to order the food. Let's run through it one last time, fast. I'd like to order, please. Pick up or delivery? Delivery. What's your address? 66 Fleet Street, apartment 4. Your phone number? 612-9148. Your buzzer code? 317. What would you like to order? One pad thai and three veggie spring rolls, please. Anything else? Uh, could you send some chili sauce, please? Okay, how are you paying? Cash. How much will that be? 1847. And how long will it take? Oh, about half an hour. Okay, thanks. Thanks, bye. Okay, so that's how you order food in English. And if you'd like to do a quiz on this, please go to our website, www.ingvid.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.